Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of this Let's Play with Leeds United, the, episode, the series where we have went back in time trying to save Leeds United back in 2006-2007. Uh, last time I talked to you guys, we were at like first day of the save, we hadn't had continue. We are currently one day before the season starts before the big match against Sheffield Wednesday, uh, kind of a rivalry there. Um, but I thought I'd update you guys on how it has went so far. So we can start by looking at the preseason. That was very up and down. I just now noticed that we've lost every, or we haven't won a home game. But yeah, we played against Liverpool. That match was kind of... I was really impressed with the team. That match. A lot of reserves playing. We lost to a first half hat-trick of Craig Bellamy. but And we missed the penalty. So this could easily have been a draw. Um, we lost this game. It was a very boring match. This was... We were dumpsters. But... My excuse is we played against Luka Modric and he's a bit better than Ian Westlake and that's no flame towards Ian Westlake. We actually didn't have a single shot on target the entire game. That was that was a big yikes, let's put it that way. We smashed uh, Geasley, I think I pronounced that right. Um, great performance by Westlake. And we finished off with a pretty boring draw against Boista. We've played this tactic mostly through preseason, the one I made in episode one. Uh, but I also made this, which I've tried out. Seems pretty good if we just want to go on the attack. It looks like a 4-3-3, but it's more of a 4-4-2 diamond formation. Because uh, the false nine is going to drop back here and the ball in midfielder is going to drop back here. So I also made this, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, just because I like having three formations available to me. Uh, I said I also said I was going to bring in a few staff. So I can show you guys what I've done on that front. Obviously the transfer window was disabled, so no transfers have been done. But I got my assistant manager, Andy Welsh. He's pretty all round okay. Uh, he got decent coaching attributes as we can't afford to pay that many like specialists. We got Tom Bates, a coach. We got Danny Philpott for our chief scout. He's really good. And Steve Black, another coach with amazing determination, motivation, motivating. And th those were all pretty cheap, all in free transfers. We dropped some of the, like some data analysts and sports scientists that weren't gonna, I didn't wanna pay the salary of mediocre data analysts considering the financial situation the club is currently in, which is still terrible. We're, I mean, we've climbed from eight to 2.6 or three in overall balance, but it's because we got our season tickets <laughs> paid last month. You can see 3.8 million in season tickets, almost 8 million throughout the season so far. And our expenditure is, we paid a bit of taxes, but we've already spent 600 thousand paying back our loan which is still at 38 million so yeah that's something we're gonna have to keep an eye with but for now we gotta focus on the season which is about to start so I thought I'd do the first uh, pre-game interview with you guys this is the uh, uh, suggested formation which is really close to what we're gonna play so I can just say sure because throughout preseason 
we I think we're mostly playing the team we looked at before preseason. Uh, there's a couple of candidates for uh, pushing on to the team and for super impact subs. Okay, mm -mm -mm. ambitions matched by the owner. I think we gotta play team ball with the owner. Yeah, creative discussion. Paul Butler will be a key performer, a key factor. We have a lot of good players. The transfer window slams shut. There will no be no business of any kind. We're not allowed. Uh, good training. Actually, people have been generally good in training. Danny Rose, which was is in our youth academy, was training with the first team throughout preseason. Top training performances all preseason. So we need to note that. Mm -mm -mm. I believe we got a good chance of staying up. We got to start a rivalry with Shuffle Wednesday, so I have faith we can stay up. I don't want to blame injuries. Ah. Won't blame injuries. That's no good. Okay, so one day before the match, let's see. Yeah, you know, he's crackling under pressure. Already crackling, Sturrock. Paul Sturrock. Already got ahead in the mind games. Now it's all about getting ahead on the field as soon as we load. We got quite a few leagues enabled because we got every every league he has on the, that database, which is France, Germany, top two divisions of Italy and England, Spain, Brazil, and Scotland. Everyone. Did their fitness tests without any issues. That's good. Yeah, in terms of injuries, we have no new injuries. Uh, Steven Craney suffered a bit during preseason. Gary Kelly in the early parts of preseason, but no big issues there. I think I'm going with Sullivan and goal. That's probably the biggest question mark position. Whether we play Anker Gran or Sullivan. Also, Tony uh, Warner did really well the few matches he played, so... Uh, 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 defense is definitely Kilgan on the ball player and Butler not, because this guy can't handle the ball. Is bad at everything except defending. Okay, back four is pretty set in stone. Uh, Hayden Fox is a decent backup, but I don't think he'll be starting in front of any of the others. Lewis is... I think he performed really well during preseason, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to start him on the left instead of Carol, which played quite a bit, but didn't do that much. Steve Stone had a couple of really, really good games. Uh, he's doing exactly what we want from him when we made the tactic. He's just kind of sitting here, spraying passes and crosses. He's not pushing up as much as Luis is. So this is challenging all the time, up challenging. And Blake, oh, Robbie, Robbie Blake, he's doing... He's covering, like, this entire area by himself in preseason. So I hope that's going to work in the championship as well. Mm, I think Sean Gregan is going to be the one losing his spot in the squad today. Unfortunately for him. But this seems like the starting 11. I'm wondering whether Healy will be able to provide the goals. That's the only like real question I have. But let's get into game. Okay, we're against Sheffield Wednesday with Chris Brunt, Glenn Whelan, 
Brad Jones and go. Tud Gay. There's a few, uh, few names here. Few names. Passionate. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. Yeah, you like that. Ian Westlake and Neil Sullivan. Thought you would. Gotta win football matches. It's that easy. It's just about winning. It's not the best weather. My player players can adapt to any situation. Eddie Lewis. I have absolutely no issues with uh, Eddie Lewis at uh, a winger position. Absolutely none. I'll be going with extended highlights. Uh, maybe for like very big matches, I'll go on comprehensive. But I mostly like playing on either of those two, but I think comprehensive might be make the matches a bit long for YouTube so we'll keep it on keep it on um, extended for now okay not much happening in the first eight minutes Ooh, playing out from let's let's <laughs> not do that guys good good Steve Stone look at this he's not challenging he's just passing Oh, Robbie Blake. Oh, that could have been the first goal of the season. Uh, good positive uh, positions. So, it's almost a dangerous set piece there. Okay, they're definitely attacking up their left side. That's okay. We have a pretty solid right side. Gary Kelly, the skipper, takes the ball off Brunt without any issues at all. Hoofs it upfield. Okay, this might be something. Oh, brilliant ball. Oh, oh, ho, ho. second try, still not there. Oh, we got goal line technology in 2007. I don't think we had that, but you know. Okay, no goal line technology. That was it's just a replay. Yeah, look at Robbie covering the entire area. Look how far, how deep he runs defensively as a striker. Oh, Chris Brunt. This is really uh, some end-to-end -end stuff here. Chances for both teams. A really close game. Okay. I think, we'll, I think we'll play it safe here. I'm wondering if there's any changes we should do. Is there attacking up left? I think maybe we just shift Kelly back a tiny bit. Lewis is. I'm gonna keep him. Actually. Could invert him opening up more like an overlap i'm gonna try that although he's left footed i kind of just want him opening up more space outside because they play it with a super defensive right back okay no nonsense type of fullback maybe it'll do something maybe it won't Not much happening here at all. This is one of those games I definitely could have had on comprehensive. Oh wait, let's how tall are your defenders? 190. 188. Definitely tall. Wait, agility. Not even that low. He's just the beast. Rob David Healy isn't really doing much here. I was wondering whether I'd bring on Joff Horsfield or Richard Cresswell. Cresswell has been doing a good
good, pretty good job pushing the line in preseason. So I'm gonna give him give him the shot here. Could also bring out Eddie Lewis, but oh, I've been playing my midfield wrong. Oops. I'm gonna bring you out to winger again, because he's better in the air. Okay, let's see. Oh, they did changes here. They got in a more attacking midfielder from the bench. Eh, more of a playmaker. I don't mind playmakers. 10 minutes to go. A really unexciting match so far. Oh, we're lining up for a free kick. This might be it, guys. Luis got an amazing free kick fit. Oh, Killigan. Killigan. Is this really going to end in a 0 0 draw? Zero, zero. Oh, just, you know, save it. Okay. Zero, zero away at Chapel Wednesday. I mean, we're one point closer to zero. Let's put it that way. Uh, I would have wanted more from this game. Not super happy. Yeah, Sean, poor Sean Derry. Kind of stressed, but I'll that. I think we go play... A, another match because that was such a quick and really not that exciting one so we'll just quickly run through uh, draw was pretty fair I was still happy about his performance to be honest yeah it was good Roy Keane declaration of signing Neil Sullivan we'll sit down uh, yeah, it's sometimes kind of rough, kind of rough. Uh, yeah, let's not talk about transfers that much. Roy Keane really that interested in uh, Neil Sullivan, huh? Yeah, we've, we've said our part. If he wants to make a bed for Sullivan, that's okay. But I'm not gonna try to window shop him in the media. Nope. Okay, I will just uh, skip from here until the beginning of the match. So I'm just gonna play, continue until then without doing anything, and I'll see you guys right before kickoff. Okay, then we're at match day. Uh, not a lot of big stuff happen except for a injury. Oh, I didn't see that. Small injury on our skipper, or not our skipper, one of our star players. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say we got an injury on Sean Gregan, our backup center back, and I was like, won't matter though because our first, all three first teamers are away available. They're not anymore. Um, so we're gonna have to play Hayden Fox and I'm pretty sure my reserves aren't filled with defenders yeah let's just bring in Johnny Housen from the bench for this match I'm not sure what else I would shuffle I think I want to go with the same 11 here. I'm gonna remember to swap these from the beginning Lewis didn't have or no one in the midfield had an amazing match uh, but The only one we could consider bringing in as Jonathan Douglas But Westlake is kind of our star so Or one of our stars uh, So I'm just gonna jump right into game here uh, and hopefully our defense can hold we're against Crystal Palace at home at Elm Road. They play Michael Hughes, Ben Watson, 
Ooh, Gabor Kirali. I don't remember the how to pronounce name, but uh, the sweatpants goalkeeper, better known as. Pretty good goalkeeper, honestly. Had a great career. I think go out there and prep. So David Healy didn't want to go out and impress me, and Hayden Fox was like, damn, David Healy, he was impressed with that. I'm not either. Yikes. Okay, let's uh, grab that first three-pointer now. Okay, Kilgan would have hit that pass. I'm just saying, Kilgan would have made that pass. Good save, Solon. Good save. The stands aren't exactly full. Pretty sure we're going to be one of the teams that have the lowest percentage of seats filled out. Considering we have such a large stadium. So that's always kind of bad. But it also means we won't have to... Spend money expanding our stadium if we uh, get to the Premier League. Because Ellen Road is definitely big enough. Ah, conceding the first goal of the season to a corner kick to Shefki Kuki. I think. Kuki. Kuki. Something like that. Okay, so we're kind of struggling here. Oof. If that had gone in, we'd really be in a bad spot. I'm considering making minor changes already. Is their midfield is kind of running over ours, I think? I gotta see what's... They're attacking up left. Yeah, I think the thing we're going to do here isn't that big. We're going to just tighten up our right side a bit by doing this. Because they're attacking mostly up the left. So I hope that will be enough. Okay, okay. Yellow card. Kind of annoying, but it's a penalty. Hayden Fox. <sighs> Hayden Fox. Come on, come on, Sullivan. Roy Keane won't want to sign you if he can't save those. He scored three goals already. The season have just started. We haven't scored a single goal as a team. Okay. So, huh? We're really struggling on set pieces. I guess the average height on our team is kind of low, actually. Well, it's not bad. He's not bad, but I don't think the team is great in the air. Craney, oh, so close to the first goal of the season. I think we gotta go for the overlap using this formation or against this formation. So I'm gonna do. I might actually just switch to the 4 3 3. Should be able to take people out of position. Okay, I'm gonna take those team talks myself. So if we go for this, we do like a bit of. Switching. We could take out Lewis, put in Crestfield. He's the pressing one, right? They're both. Uh, I think Crestfield, yeah. If we do this, it's kind of risky, but I like the potential it gives us in terms of the overlap. 
and then I can show you guys how it plays like a 442 diamond instead. You can see the midfield here, or you saw it for a split second there. How Robbie Blake falls down into the midfield rather than playing as a as an out and out striker. So it's it plays like four four two. Just narrow. Okay, we haven't conceded. That's I, I jinxed that. And then we have a lot of space on the counter. Come on, David Healy. Cresswell. Off. From the bench. Scoring a goal. Richard Cresswell. First goal of the Yowlin era for Leeds. It's pretty good goal as well. We got them outnumbered on the counter attack. Set up by Robbie Blake. And wait, who won the ball? Was it Steve Stone or. Second yellow card. Didn't need that. Um, I'm going to take out Robbie Blake. Unfortunately, I think that's... We don't have any really good left back, so we'll just bring on Mr. Fraser Richardson. On the left back. I think I'm gonna put you just a fullback and I'm gonna put him on a Metsala instead. I think I'm gonna do something like this. We're a bit more. We're a bit safer defensively. But keeping uh, the fullback. back a bit more but we can't sacrifice our all our attack because we're still down richardson oh almost second super sub of the match oh my oh cresswell it's in the mixer decent attempt decent attempt 20 minutes left in this match. I think we would be really happy if we could salvage a draw from this one. We've seen quite a few yellow cards. I guess that was what we spoke about in episode 1, wanting to turn into like the aggressive, hard tackling Leeds United of old. I guess that comes at the cost of a few yellow cards in modern football. Okay, what is this directness? They just skipped like eight defenders with like three passes. You gotta get to that first. Okay, you got the throw in at least. Okay, it's 10 minutes left in the match. We gotta take more risks now. I think we bring in Douglas for Steve Stone. I think that's the way to go. Wait, we could also make a three at the back. We could do something like this and no because I mean we could do no I don't think so I don't th think three at the back is the way to go here I think we put Kelly at all out attack I think we take out one of the midfielders and it's gonna be Steve Stone, yeah, he's done his running for today. Douglas is definitely the 
best to bring on here. I'm going to put him on attack. I'm going to push up a bit. Uh, I'm not going to do pressing just yet. Super high. But I think this is... I'm going to go more attacking. This should be the way to bring it back. We're hoping Healy does something. Brilliant interception by Kelly. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, what? An amazing job that was by Gary Kelly. What is that? Great cross and then cool composed header by David Healy at the end. Look at that. Intercept the ball, ran like 40 meters and hit a pinpoint accuracy cross on the head of David Healy. Well, the question is whether they got on a peg one back. Because we didn't go more defensive after scoring. Oh. Gary Kelly again, putting it up for Cresswell. Oof, that's a good tackle. I think we take it back a bit. I think we put him on Carrilero. That's it. Just to have him cover Kelly a bit, because I'm keep I'm allowing Kelly running forward the rest of this match because he's performing really well I say as he totally butchers that cross oh Ben Watson oh, got it out got it out of the way another change I get this is me at the end of every match I'm like super scared so I'm changing every time I see anything there's small things I want to push Richardson back so we had a bit more cover on defense when we went for the counter attack. Well, this is going to be such a heartbreaker if we lose it. But it would feel so go good to turn it around as well. Seems like draw is the result. It's a draw. But we've gotta be happy with the spirit the team showed that game that was very very good they came from behind a man down against crystal palace let's run of applause for the boys uh yeah but i'll end the episode here i'll quickly check the schedule schedule to see when we'll be back i might just play out august and see you guys in september then by then we'll have started the season we'll do a league cup game i don't think i'm gonna show that on stream or on youtube because it's just league cup we're prioritizing the league this season so yeah, I think I'll do the entire month of August and I'll see you guys for the Leicester game. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, you can check out the rest of this series. I'm going to make a playlist. I haven't uploaded anything yet, so I won't be able to... I haven't read any comments before recording this. But I appreciate anyone who's watching and... You can watch me on Twitch three times a week streaming if you want more of me. And otherwise, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.